This is interesting. Uh, I haven't seen this. Maybe I have, but without wreck, I didn't realize. This is Crocodile. 60 baht. So, less than $2. About $1.80. Uh, and that's Deer for 80 baht, like venison. So, $2. Uh, what would it be? 70 is $2. So, And what was this one, Rec? Duck? Yeah. Oh, wild forest pig. Wow, they have an interesting selection here. Wow. Cool shop. Roy Mak. <laughs> Always lots of pickled veggies. There's pickled bamboo, pickled bok choy. Something like a between a cabbage and a lettuce. And here's one of the things that helps create the internationally world renowned Thai cuisine. It's red curry paste. This was full, and you see how popular it is from the market for home cooking. And there's another favorite green curry paste. That's the stuff you can buy in the western supermarkets in little packages for, well, it's usually pretty reasonably priced, but it's just a little bit, because it goes a long way. That's the real thing from the market. There's these guys, and here's what they look like inside. Aroi mak mai? Now that we're officially in the south, curry puff, very popular. A nice flaky pastry on the outside with different fillings. Oh, it's all in Thai. So sometimes it's taro. Oh, I guess they have pictures. Well, there's chicken. <laughs> and sometimes it's mixed vegetables, soya bean. Uh, what's that? I'm not sure. And sometimes they have red bean. I love the red bean taste. But the south is the home uh, in Thailand of the curry puff because it originally comes from Malaysia and the Malay culture is what's so strong in the south of Thailand. Wrong way. Hey, cactus. Cac. What's up with that? You're not supposed to be in here. Apparently the traditional city market doesn't like dogs. This is a very popular dish here in Thailand. It's minced pork um, in, put inside bitter melon. And it's named bitter melon for a reason. It is quite bitter, it's super healthy. They really like bitter melon, for example, in Japan. Uh, it has a lot of healthy attributes. And it's tasty. I mean, that minced pork is great. It almost reminds me of a cabbage roll like in Canada, which has its roots in Ukrainian, Russian origin. A great thing is that spring rolls are usually around in most markets I've found, from the north to center to east to west. Now we're entering the south, five baht, that's about 15 cents. And they're usually vegetarian, maybe there's a tiny bit of pork in there, but you should ask first if you're vegan. I just bought this for 70 baht. That's two dollars. This thing is heavy. I know this fish. I don't know the name of it, but there's a lot of meat on this guy. Two dollars, 70 baht. Oh, I love Thai markets in the south. Yeah.